And working alongside those rescue crews in Surfside are forensic engineers who are analyzing the rubble here, what's left behind to figure out how this tragedy all happened. 10 Tampa Bay's Tweelon Wynn shares insight from a structural engineer who's worked at several collapse sites in his own career. Tweelon. Caitlin, good morning. I spoke to John Pepper, who's had more than 50 years of experience working other collapse sites. And he says in all of his years, he has never seen anything like what happened in Surfside. Now, engineers were on scene within hours of the collapse, collecting images and data that will help them figure out how and why this tragedy happened. He says from his experience, it likely wasn't just one thing that caused the collapse, but rather multiple failures that led up to this. Pepper says teams will look at how the pile of rubble sits now. Foundations, concrete, leaks, groundwater, and most importantly, the support columns within the building. They'll be looking for uh, things that don't look right. They'll be looking at columns that are broken. They'll be looking at how they're broken. They'll look at the corrosion on the columns, which is quite likely a, a big factor. Besides looking at, at the, the evidence, the forensic evidence left by, by crushed columns, uh, the way columns fell, okay, uh, the ones that aren't completely crushed would have fallen left or fallen right. And the town of Surfside has hired a veteran engineer to consult on this. He was at the collapse site of the Miami-Dade parking garage collapse, as well as the FIU pedestrian bridge collapse. But it'll be months before we find out what exactly happened here, because right now these efforts are focused on rescue and recovery.